Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to another episode of Eric Mealtime. And in today's episode, we're doing vending machines at the airport. Yes, this is gonna be a gold mine of stuff, man. I've heard there's all kinds of machines. We're gonna start with a drink machine by Big Wing. Oh cool, I like how they number them one to 12, but I don't have a choice. It's gotta be this one. You can pay with IC card, I like that. Or cash, or coins. Okay. Fanta Grape. Actually, I haven't had this in a long time, so that'll be good. Oh, here we go, this is something different. It's called, uh, it's, it says Umadashi. Uma means horse, so it must have something to do with horses. I don't think so. I don't know, I gotta try it. Price is 140 yen, about a dollar, what, 30? Okay, ready to go. So we're gonna start with the drinks because I never buy drinks and I always get cotton mouth when I'm eating, you know? It's, it's so definitely drinks first. It'd be really cool if I had a bag for these. You gotta look around, sometimes they have bags, but they're trying to cut back on the plastics, but if you look hard enough, you will find one somewhere. Let's see, up here. Up here. Oh, is that what I think it is? Yes! Score! Yeah. And now we need something to eat. Let's see here. Snack machine. Well, it is morning, so bananas in a bag. That's cool. Bananas from vending machine. And a waffle, something sweet. Bananas and waffles for breakfast. What do you guys think? Does that work? Works for me. I've had coffee already, so yeah. It's a bit tricky to see, but it looks as if you get two bananas in a pack for about a dollar, 110 yen. So let's do that, number 17. Oh, forgot to pay. Uh, IC card. There we go. It even says banana on it. <laughs> Bonus. Ooh, and it's cold in here. This is a refrigerated machine. I like that. It's just like putting your hand in a freezer. Okay, so that's that. And next up, the waffle. Three or four? Let's go for number three. Four is bad luck in Japan because it means death. That's right. Hundred forty yen, about a dollar thirty. Made with lactic butter, whatever that is. Okay, now that I got my brand new banana mask on, we are ready to go eat. Yes. So, uh, uh oh, I'm traveling up to Hokkaido, the North Island, and I need some omiyage or a souvenir for my snowboard friend, Mickey Mouse, Disney. Eh, do they have Goofy? If they had Goofy, perfect. No Goofy. Okay, sorry, Mickey. Bring Goofy next time. Hello, kitty. Oh my goodness, are you guys familiar with Hello Kitty? She's having her 45th anniversary, apparently. Started in 1974. And basically, she's Japan's most famous cat, without a doubt. I mean, yep, for sure. So anyway, what's inside this machine? Stuffed animals? Nah, takes up too much space. I need something that's compact. A bow. <laughs> that's pretty good. Let's check out the bow. No, it's got, this is not for sale. <laughs> it has to have a price on it. I like this pink little handbag. What's that all about? Yeah, I think my friend would enjoy that. He's the most hardcore like mountain man ever, so this is gonna be perfect for him. Yeah, we'll try to get that on video, get his reaction. Yeah, it's a whopping, what, $12.50, but yep, I'm definitely, this is it. Kimari Hai. You can pay, oh, let's see, cash, visa. Can I pay with a, one of these guys? Uh, I guess we'll just do cash. I'm gonna do a $50 bill. 
cash. Okay, I can put it in. Where do you put it in? You're talking to me? Where do I put the money in? Probably right there. That would be a good bet. 50 bucks, yo, 50 bucks. Now that we got the green light, we can put the money in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, don't forget the change. Look at that, you pull it right out of Hello Kitty's mouth, I like that. Don't forget the other chain. <laughs> I want the goods, where's the goods at? Oh, here it is, oh look at that, it's in a bag. This is tight, yo, look at this. Oh, yep, oh, my friend is gonna be so happy. Yep, oh, this is great. This is great. There it is, hello kitty. And I will tell him specifically not to re-gift this to one of his million lady friends. Yeah, he's gotta keep this and cherish it. Okay, so here's the deal. If you guys come to Japan, you wanna to come to Haneda Airport, which is Tokyo's airport, not Narita, not the far one. There's an international terminal here and there's two domestic terminals. This is domestic terminal number two. This is the place that's got all the best vending machines. Yep. Terminal number two, honey, the airport, Tokyo's domestic airport. God, I'm actually working up a sweat. Just walking around the airport, talking to a camera, working up a sweat, that's not right. Cause I'm working for you guys, that's right. This place is usually bustling. I mean, this is Japan's number one domestic airport and it's like, look, it's like almost nobody. Oh no, what's going on over here? Gashapon. Okay, quick, quick look at these. I'm not gonna waste too much time on these. Very strategic how they put the kids' play area here and then these machines where they can spend some money, their parents can spend some money. Nice marketing idea. So this is the Tokyo series and oh, look at this. You can get a female pilot, sumo guy. That's cool too. This is nice, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building in Shinjuku, I like that. And so there's a total of six. The other ones I don't care for. So what is it? If I got this one, this one, or this one, that would be, that'd be good. So 50-50, right? Let's give it a try. How much? 400 yen. I'm gonna have to get change. Not a problem. Because they just happen to have a change machine. Show me the money. Here we go, ready? Gotcha, pong. Gotcha, gotcha, pong. Gotcha, gotcha, pong. There it is. The pong is the sound that it makes when it drops. Yeah. Did I get the flight attendant? No, not flight attendant. This is the one I really want. You guys knew that already, right? <laughs> it's hard to tell by looking at it. I guess I'll have to open it later. I found it, the holy grail of airport vending machines. This is the jackpot right here. I saw this on Only in Japan's channel, John Dobb, he did these machines. Thanks, John. Yeah, he told me it was Terminal 2, so I knew where to look. Shout out to John Dobb, if you guys aren't subscribed to him. He's got two channels. I think I need to link to him, and then maybe, maybe perhaps uh, I could do another collab with him. Yeah, okay, so here we go. So real quickly, let's go through these one by one. This machine sells goods from Fukuoka, which is southwestern Japan. And I'm not interested in any of this stuff, except maybe those rice crackers. Eh, 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 meh. On a one to six, Fukuoka gets a two. It's a nah. Oh. Next up is this fellow right here. He's called Kumamon. He's from Kumamoto, Japan. And he is Japan's most famous character. That's right, he is number one out of the million and a half characters that Japan has. This guy right here, Kumamon. And you wanna know why he's the most famous? So Kuma means bear in Japanese. He's the black bear with the red paws. Uh-huh, he's everywhere. And I'm definitely gonna get something from this machine. So a little pouch, change purse, of course the stuffed animal, smaller change purses, ladies' ones. What is that car? It says 
pullback car. Oh, you guys know what a pullback car is? I'll buy it and show you. Let me show you the show you. Lots of show you in there. Uh, what are these wallets? Or oh no, these are train pass holders and wallet combination, I guess. Then like some condiments down here and. That's the change purse right there, number 15. We're gonna get that for sure. Hi, Ichimai Nugu. Much better. So if you come to Japan and it's in the winter time, which is at the tail end of winter right now, when you go indoors, it's way, way too hot. And if you go outdoors, of course, it's cold, right? But in the summer, if you go indoors in Japan, it's about 16, 17 degrees Celsius, and you freeze your buns off. So just be prepared for that. Let's do the car first. Number four, lucky number four. Uh, how much is it? Five fifty. About five bucks. Five. There you go. Number four. Yeah. Right, drive that car down here. Easy. Oh, look at that! How it fell st straight up. I wonder if they planned that. It's not. Oh. Now it's upside down. Yeah. And the logo is it's right on top of the car. Oh, it's in the front of the car. It's nice how they did that. Good design work. I like that. That is sharp. It's gonna get this one number 15 for 770. That change purse right there for sure. I, yeah, I gotta get a new one. I'm tired of my old one. Do I have 770? Yeah, I have 70. Okay, we'll just cut this part out. How much, how much left? I don't know. Why do I have to count it when they have a counter right here? Right, I could be lazy, I don't have to count anything. All these years I've been doing this and I just figured that out. 720, 770. Yes, we can afford it. Okay, number 15, don't mess that up. Or you get something else. Oh yeah, best day of my life. I absolutely love this character and I've met him live before. Next machine is, oh it's English, Soja City. I don't know where that is actually. And these are, what are they? Oh these are curry, like take home curries. I like the packaging but you're not gonna be able to eat it now unless you wanted it cold. So lots of different types of curry. It's a very attractive machine, for sure. And see, there's their character. See, every city has a character. Next up is the city of Toyama on the Japan seaside. Mm -hmm. It's a very cold city in the winter. A lot of seafood, and speaking of seafood, it looks like spicy dried squid. I'm gonna definitely try that. I like that it comes in a clear canister. That's kind of cool, isn't it? If it's number one, it's gotta taste pretty good, right? It's the Is number one, number one, we'll, we'll find out. I will let you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. <clears throat> if I could only read this, I don't know what this is. And you know what, that's a good thing sometimes. I like to be surprised. All right, don't forget to change. Fukushima, all right, Fukushima, special products from Fukushima. That's where the big earthquake and tsunami was. Yeah, okay, so more ramen. Oh, interesting looking rice crackers, number 12 there. And this is what's called otsumami, right? It goes really well with like beer when you're drinking. So I'm, get, I'm probably gonna need some of that for tonight. Let's see, so number 12, okay, for 300. That's about 270, I think. The exchange rate's always changing. I mean, I could just, you know, the easiest way is to just call that $3, but I, I like to do it, you know, as precise as I can. Number 12. Here we go. So Fukushima is famous for peaches and lighthouses. That's right. 
and a nuclear meltdown. Let's not forget about that. Next up is Yamagata. That's up in the north. They've got melon, the best tasting melon in all of Japan. That stuff's really good. We got some dry snacks. Oh, look at those shrimps right there. Yep, I already decided. Number, number one, I think it's a good idea to go for number one, isn't it? There's their character. So famous stuff from every you know city or prefecture in Japan is in these machines. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the shrimps. I mean, that's just gorgeous. Look at the presentation there. Yeah, number one, five fifty. I hope I have some money left for dinner. <laughs> fifty, and another one of these bad boys. What number was it again? Number one, of course. How can I forget number one? Oh, look at these things. Beautiful. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, what does that say? Does that say Akita? Does it? Save Akita. Yes, it does. You know, this prefecture is famous for that dog called Hachiko. You know the movie? The two movies, actually. There's one with Richard Gere. Don't watch that one. Watch the original. Yep, the Akita breed of dog. And I am not a dog person. And I am not a cat person. I am. You want to know what kind of person? A turtle person, that's right. We have turtles at our place, turtles, two of them. And they're gonna probably live to be older than like all of us, incredible. Just one machine left, you guys, one machine left, and this one is the holy grail of vending machines. That's right, you've seen it before if you watch my channel, but here it is, ready? Ta -da! Ah! Hot foods vending machine. Yep, they've got the fried rice balls here. Yep, they're gonna show you. And they've got, oh, some delicious looking takoyaki octopus balls. And what's that? Some more healthier type of rice balls, right? It's got the genmai rice, much better. That's just better. And you get a couple nuggets, chicken McNuggets. And then of course, everybody's favorite, French fries, or in Japanese, fried potatoes. Yep. Where's the hot dogs and hamburgers, yo? This company, it's called the Nichire Company. They have the largest variety of hot frozen foods. That's right, it comes from this. Let's pack up. Ugh. Should we get something? I just did this machine not too long ago, so I think uh, I'm gonna pass. But next time, next time I see this machine, I'll do it, yeah. I'm waiting for them to come out with some new items and I'm thinking about visiting the home office in Tokyo because I believe that's the first place they would debut uh, a new item, right? It's in their lobby of their um, headquarters. So, yeah. And maybe I could get an interview with uh, somebody there that could uh, kind of explain what the future of this is gonna be because these guys are number one for hot foods vending machines right here. It's a modern machine. I think it is time to board. Hey. Hey. You need security certificate to enter. Yeah, you have to. Oh, I got it. Okay, yeah. good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks so much. Okay. What post can we just? Oh, I just been in show height.
Okay, so here's how to put on a shoe, okay? So I'm staring at the camera lens, I'm not looking at my feet, okay? That's the trick. Do not look at the shoe, do not look at your feet, and you'll be able to balance. It's very easy, but just don't look at the shoe, don't look at your foot, and you can get it on every time. You're welcome for the tip. Oh, and for the record, you don't have to take off your shoes in Japan, at least not at the domestic airport. And the security personnel here are very, very friendly. Very friendly. Thumbs up, Japan. Oh, choices, choices. Do we take the space walkway? Not behind them, we don't. No, uh-uh. In fact, just never take it. It's just better to just, you, you know how I feel about that. You always take the stairs, and you always use these guys as much as you can. But ideally this, right? If there, was, if there would have been nobody on there, you know, this is cool, right? Yeah. Ooh, check out these massage chairs. Look at this. 12 minutes for 300 yen. It says weightless massage. Ooh. How does it go weightless? That's what I want to know. I mean, what is it? Does it just fly away? Like some sort of turbo jets pushing up on your bum? Is that how it works? Do I have time before my flight? No, I don't. This this one right here, the mochi cheese pun. So that's uh, like what, like soft rice cake and cheese bread. Number seventeen, my birthday. Dollar thirty. That's it for this machine. What else do we need? Don't need anything. I've <laughs> got a ton of stuff. Oh, is that a Baskin Robbins ice cream machine? Oh, no way. This is a first. Oh, my goodness. Best day of my life. Banana mask off. Banana bread, eat. <laughs> oh my god, that smells good. What is it called? They're calling it um, Castera, whatever that is. Castera, so it's sweets inside, not the red bean paste. Yeah. Nope, it's really a banana phone. Yeah, here we go. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll tell you what it tastes like. It tastes like banana flavored sweet onco bean paste. That's what it tastes like. Mm-hmm. It's good. Is it good enough to eat the second one? Yes. Mm. 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 To drink, we're gonna have the Fanta grape. I haven't had Fanta grape soda in ages. Houston, we have a problem. It's okay. It's probably been 20 years since I've had this. It was better when I was 20 years younger. But it's all right. What's not all right is, is this. <sighs> I gotta get on a plane in 10 minutes. What are we gonna do about that? <laughs> this I can take care of. That's, that's easy. Actually. We'll do a quick change here. Yeah, just like new. Next up is the waffle made with lactic butter. What's lactic butter? Anybody know? Actually, I don't want to know. It sounds grotesque. Oh, it smells like lactic. <laughs> it does smell like butter. dry. No, wait, correction. It, it's not too dry. It's just, it's not sweet enough. That's what it is.
Actually, this is perfect for a 56-year-old guy. You just need something to chase it with. Not this. I won't chase it with the soup. I'm still not sure what this is. Umadashi. Umadashi. So uma means horse and dashi means soup stock. So it's soup stock from a horse or is it another uma? A different meaning for uma. Japanese people, I'm sorry, I do not know. I will study the language more, I promise, to be a better vlogger. <laughs> okay, here goes. It smells like clam soup. Is that what uma is? A type of clam? Definitely like fishy, seafood. I forgot to shake it up. Definitely got to shake it up without getting out of my shirt or pants. This is going to be, a, will that do it? Do I have a seal there? It looks like I have a seal. Well done, Eric. Taste the same. I think it's miso soup with clams. I think that's what it is. Okinawa, I would love to go to Okinawa. I'm going the opposite of Okinawa. That's what's, that's the announcement. I'll show you guys my reading material for the airplane. This is good. It's a, um, never mind her. It's a uh, news magazine. Yeah, lots of different news articles and some cartoons too, but mostly news. I mean, 90%. See, there's a little bit of news right there. Yeah, see? Got the 10 Eric seat, perfect. There's the airplane, the name of the airline is Air Do, because they know how to do it. Okay, we got the astronauts, NASA, NASA. Hokkaido Love, see that's where we're going, Hokkaido Love. Love, love. They got their characters, see, huh? Cute. シートベルトは腰の低い位置でしっかりと締めてください。Please Use of electronic devices that emit radio waves or other acts that threaten the safety of the aircraft. Potate soup. Hmm. Interesting. Scallop soup. Okay. Scallop consomme soup. Welcome to Hokkaido. Yes. <laughs> Let's get some refreshments for the train ride, eh? Eh? 
Dark Souls is Canadian now. <laughs> hey. Well. Uh, Got to do this since this is where we are, and the classic as well too. Couple of these bad boys. Okay. We'll compare the two support. Or what is this Golden Star? Classic. Oh, that's a new one. Okay, let's let's try that one. Gold Star. It's a new one, huh? Okay. Ume Boshi, sour salty plum. That's the one I want. Oh, this is great. I gotta cool my beer off. <laughs> this is the train to Sapporo. Yep, and then we transfer and uh, go into a place called Kuchan, which is where some of the best snow in the world exists at this resort called Niseko. Hopefully, we'll be able to snowboard there tomorrow. Hopefully, if it's not blizzard conditions, got icicles hanging off the train. <laughs> this is the back of the train, so it's, I think it's pretty safe to mess around a little bit. Cold enough? All right. Uh, yeah. Cheers, guys. <sighs> Delish. Let's get this adventure started. this colorful train and first we're gonna have the tuna cheese and egg sandwich oh it's looking good no sandwich no life I love the slogan <laughs> before I could eat Japanese food I just lived off of sandwiches and rice balls yeah it was like amazing I've been traveling with the sandwich so yeah it's not the greatest looking but Oh, it looks amazing, it smells amazing, and I am starving. Oh. So good. Japanese sandwiches are so soft. No crust. It's, I mean, right? You could eat these if you didn't have any teeth, but that's how good they are. Please place your ticket and fare along with your numbered ticket into the fare box. It's a nice combination of ingredients the tuna, the cheese I'm tasting most, and it's, what's the word? Accentuated? It's, uh, is that a word? Accentuated. And then of course it's got the egg as well too. With some mayonnaise. It's a good sandwich. So officially this is a vending machine video, but this I got at the convenience store. Yeah. Tokyo Craft Pale Ale. Nice. Finally starting to get craft beers in Japan. It took a while actually. 
but now they're available at convenience stores so, and grocery stores, which is really nice. This one is Mochito Shokan no Cheese Shio Pan, which is a, I don't even know the English, but just look at it, it looks fabulous. So mochi is a type of rice cake, a soft rice cake, and then the rest of it is cheese and bread. So, yeah, they do that in Japan. They'll mix like rice products with cheese and bread, which I think is a bit of a no-no, but they're getting better at it. So. Maybe it's a yes, yes. Eventually, I'll let you know. So shokan means texture in English, and that's what Japanese food is all about. That's what they're going for. So the texture of the cheese with the texture of the rice cake is what they're going after. Does it work? Okay, I'll shut up and just eat. Shall we give it the smell test? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Scream the cheese bonus. This is so good. So the dough of the bread has a little bit of mochi or rice cake mixed with it. It gives it a little bit more weight. I guess it's heavy, but oh, they nailed this, it's so good. Definitely quality cream cheese. It's lightly toasted on the top, very soft on the bottom. Oh, this is genius, Japan. Definitely, they're up in their game in the bread department. Introducing, ladies and gentlemen, the number one character in Japan. This is Kumamon. He is the black bear from Kumamoto Prefecture. And, yeah, it's not made in China. They won't outsource to China for this because they know people will not go for that. Made in Japan only. That's pretty cool. It's got Kumamoto Castle on it. Some nice flowers. Looks like, what are those, ajisa? I'm not sure what type of flowers those are, or hibiscus almost, right? Because um, it's warmer in Kumamoto, and the back is mellow, just purple. Let's open it up and start my savings account. Yeah, there you go. Put a 500 yen coin in there, worth five bucks. Nice. Next up is the Kumamon pullback car. Pull back. Huh. Sounds like some sort of uh, dance move. The pullback, right? The pullback hip hop move? What is it? What's going on here? Let me demonstrate in this abandoned train car. There's nobody in here, just me. So I think I can fool around a little bit. Yeah. dried shrimps. Oh yeah. Let's check these bad boys out. Oh my. Ah. So these are going to be salty snacks. They're not going to be sugar like they sometimes are. 
this goes really well with beer. Yeah. Sides are pretty much like burnt out. There's nothing on the inside really. They're hollowed out. If that makes sense. What is that word? They're freeze dried. <laughs> yeah. They're freeze dried. That's what they are. saltiness, but overall pretty darn good. Nothing on the inside, it's just the shell pretty much, but they're good. All right, we're coming into Oshamabe Station. Next stop, Kozawa. Introducing the next item, these are dried squid legs. Yes. Oh, we're making a stop here too. Very cool. There we go. Oh. Welcome to Snow Country. Oh, it's cool. Oh. We're in a winter wonderland. Kozawa Station. That was cool. I want to do a snow angel out there. Definitely, snow angel. Yeah. Here we go, let's see. Getting off to the next stop, gotta hurry. some chewing involved yeah but as you chew the flavor starts to come out of them and it gets softer it's kind of a nice experience but the first 30 seconds is just like Ugh. definitely a bit of an acquired taste but I would recommend them next stop are some famous rice crackers Kumai this one's really good tasting Kumai means like really really good tough quality I just love the way they look Nuts, I guess. Coca-Cola in the snow. How do they keep these from freezing? They got hot ones too. Wim Hof, eat your heart out. This is nothing minus 10 degrees Celsius. I got this, thanks to you. It took 90 minutes on an airplane and then about two hours on a train to get here. So what, three and a half hours? Yeah. There she, there she rolls.
Thanks for the ride. So we've just arrived at Kuchan Station. Yep. Ski and snowboard paradise. Yes. Oh, what's this? They got a welcome bell? Several bells. Exactly six bells. I'm going to ring every one of them. Yeah. Woohoo. So if you've ever wondered how they clear the snow off the tracks, I've never wondered, but it's this machine right here. Yep, this runs in between the trains so that the trains can go. And that's quite a machine there, isn't it? Apologies that it's a little bit on the dark side, but yeah, I mean, it's nighttime. Lincoln, it's been a long time. I got you something really special from <laughs> Tokyo. Show the people. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I I, 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 and, oh. and you got to show the front. Show, oh, yeah. show us the front. I will, I will wear it with and, pride. And there's one it's rule. A, it's a pierce, right? There's one rule. You can't re-gift this. You have to keep it. <laughs> oh, I'm keeping it till I die. <laughs> That's what we I wanted to hear. It's never coming off. Okay, look at that. Oh, he's wearing it proudly. Lincoln is my go-to adventure guy. We've been doing adventures for how many years in Japan? Like yeah. 10? I've known him for what? 12 years or something. 10? We have early early videos in 2008, 9? Yeah, around. So he's, he's introduced me to all the adventure stuff to do in Japan, and it's awesome. This is a, the thank you present. Yeah, awesome. There's a couple grand in there. You just got to find the pocket. It, it's, it's a hidden pocket. The next day. What do we have here? Free lounge. Oh, vending machine corner. I'm all about this. Hmm. Okay, I see drinks. There's always drinks. Mm-hmm. Basic, basic, basic. Even this is basic, the 17 ice. But this, this is not basic. This is the bomb. Yep, Asahi beer. Sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Everyone is sold out. I guess we're S-O-L. Gonna have to do with some ice cream instead. That one. Whoa, Whoa it's snowing pretty hard. Oh boy. We're gonna finally have some powder, it looks like. Yeah, snowing pretty hard. So here we go, we got the 17 ice, new flavor. This one's called, what does that say? Waffle corn sabora. Waffle corn, waffle corn who? Sabora. Waffle corn shakara. I think that just means some kind of amazing waffle sandwich breakfast. Ice cream with popcorn. Chocolate. Oh, it's a, it's a fancy name for chocolate. All right, here we go. The cost for this is dollar forty. I think we're gonna take. Uh, let's not take the whole thing off. Let's just let's just get into it. Oh. Oh man. And this is next level, yo. Seventeen. I stepping it up. That's what it is. The fancy name is this waffle cone. It's, so it's, it's got a crunch to it. And it's a really nice chocolate. One more bite. Oh, so good. Bust into your screens and over into my screen and help yourself. This is really good. <laughs> 